In this video, I'm going to show you a bunch of random stuff like cells, columns, rows, copy, paste, and beep. Here's how it goes. Let's go to the VBA screen. Okay, in the past I've shown you how to get a cell by using the range function, right? We can do uh, range, what, like uh, a2 dot value equals boo. And, oh, I did a question mark, excuse me, equals boo, and then it pastes boo and b2. Um, there's another way to do this, though. What if I do cells, and I say uh, row 2 column 1 dot value. Let me stick a question mark there, and it's going to tell me what's in cell uh, row 2 column 1, which is a2, essentially. I could also tell it to activate that. Instead of getting the value, dot activate. Boom, it goes and activates it. Now, so that's another way to do this. Um, this is also very useful when using variables as the row or column value. For example, if I say that um, my row equals 3, enter, and my column equals 4, enter, and then I say cells, my row, comma, my column, and dot value equals, look, mommy, it types out in D3, which is row 3, column 4, look mommy. Pretty cool, huh? This comes in uh, very handy when you're doing things with incrementing variables and you're trying to increment through each row or each column. So you could have an incremental variable that is my row, and each time you go through a loop, my row increments by 1, or my column increments by 1, or something like that. So then you have this nice relative and dynamic reference to cells. So that's cells. Not too bad. Columns is sort of the same thing. You can go columns and say column 1.select. And look, it selects column 1, which is A. Again, we could say column my call select. And it selects column 4. Same with rows. Rows um, my row dot select. Oops. And we can even do this, uh, rows my row dot copy, and it copies, you can see it's uh, highlighted it and copied it. And let's do this, go, let's go to the next sheet, sheets, and uh, no, we'll just do this, oops, ah. rows my row plus two dot paste special. Why special? Because pasting is special. And look, in two down, it pasted my whole row there. Okay. You can also do this with cells and with copy and paste. Let me show you. You could say cells.copy. So we didn't tell it which cell, just all the cells. And notice this uh, fancy little ant line has copied every cell on the sheet. Then I can go sheets2, that's the next sheet over, dot Activate and then cells.paste special and it pastes everything that was in sheet one over into sheet two. That comes in real handy. Alright, did I miss anything? Oh beep. Alright, I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, but if I type beep and hit enter, it will beep at me. I'm not sure if you can hear that because I'm recording from a microphone, not from my computer. But every time I type beep and hit enter, it beeps at me. Why is this important? Well, if you're running a loop that's fairly involved and takes more than a, a minute, let's say, you'd like to know when the loop is really done. And so you'd like it to beep at you, sort of like a microwave. And then you'll know it's done. You can go about your business. That's all I've got for this video. Hope it helps.